Matthew here, bathtubrenew.com, porcelain surgeon. We're here to fill some holes in this pink tub and change it white. Check this one out. Yeah. All right. So look at this bad boy. I guess there's some holes in here we're going to fix up. See what those look like. And they came in and found out that there's holes in our bathtub. So we're going to make this brand new. What's with your hat? Tim Beebs. You know, Justin Bieber. Because I have Bieber fever. <laughs> Look at this. We're gonna polish this up. Nice brass color. We got some rust here we gotta deal with. I think we got a hole right through the tub. Oh yeah, she's right through. We're gonna make that brand new too. Yeah. Can't beat a good hole in the tub. We got a super duper hole. Now, this is a good one. It's been a while since I did one of these on a steel tub. But she is rotten. Right through. See that? This is a big hole right here. And then it's rotten a little bit here and then it popped through here again. So we're etching this all the way back to here. So our fiberglass filler has really good adhesion to the porcelain. So we're gonna let that sit on there for a little bit. I'm gonna clean that off really nice. We're gonna dry it with a heat gun. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna put some short strand fiberglass filler in it. Bondo hair. Yep. We're gonna rebuild her with that. And uh, because of the area where this is at, we're actually able to fill it like this. Um, but if it was like in here, I would have to take out the drain and then do a fiberglass slab on the steel porcelain, etch the heck out of it, make sure it sticks really good. But on this one, we just have to fill it. It's not really a structural area of the tub, thank God. So we got her all patched in. It's all up. We have all our chips fixed. So what do we do here? This has got a, a, a first coat of fiberglass filler. And then I put a second coat on it. Kind of made it a little Humpty Dumpty feathered it out a little bit buzz that flat feathered it out all nice now it does go up a little bit here you're never gonna see it though you can barely feel it but I can feel that it is raised and I wanted it raised to give it more strength here and then after we got done the fiberglass filler then we put the self-leveling two-part polyester putty on it one nice coat nice and smooth buzz that out with 120 then we put three coats of this red stuff on super thin nice and skinny just a little scuff in between each coat and it just feels awesome now it's all been etched out here so i know that my fillers are going to have great adhesion to this tub it's never going to fail there now we prep out the rest of the tub get it all clean the reason why i didn't clean it first is because there's a big hole in it and i didn't want water going down there all right let's get this all prepped out masked up and start squirting it white All right, we are all done. She is all brand new. Look at that. Wow. Used to be pink, that's white. Look at that, all nice and shiny, shiny and white. All cock-a-doodle-doodled in. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we made that disappear. You can't even tell. Look, you can't even tell. Where was it? She gone. Look at that. You'd think we put a brand new tub in here. Holy cats. 10 years they can call me and we can redo it again. You could do this tub every 10 years for probably 70 years what it would cost you to change this tub. And the new tubs, you're reglazing them every 50, 10 to 15 years anyways. There, look at that. There's nothing wrong with the tile. The tile looks in great condition. For this apartment, it's perfect. Exactly what they need. Wouldn't you want your tub to look like this? Nice, nice. You saw how ugly it was. She's brand new. And I'm Matthew with Bathtub Renew, powered by Liquid Porcelain Technologies, and I will see you on the next video. Yeah.